But hey, y'all, welcome back another, um, time for another, um, Genshin reaction to their special program. This time, 4.8. Y'all, this is the last installment of 4.X. Because after 4.8, we are going straight to, um, 5.0. We're going, we're already in the five. We're in the fives now. We're in 5X after this one. So the next reaction will definitely be not land and that means the devs and that means i'm have to be reading but we won't be thinking about that that's around august time i'm gonna be at the word about the <laughs> but yeah but 4.8 we're gonna be seeing what's the last installment of the 4.8 well 4.x and seeing what's all new to come and all in this next version and since it is the um 4.8 there is, it's going to be about the um little summer event since 4.8 is usually the rolls around summer and all that and going to a different like place. So we're going to be seeing. So yeah, now let's um, get into it. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the version 4.8 special program. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Me. Hello, everyone. My name is Amber Avilas, and I voice Emily, a famous perfumer from Fontaine. Hey, guys. Oh, that's our new character, y'all. That's our new character we're gonna be getting. If y'all seen my um pulling, pulling sesh, I have a. It'll be up there in the um thing that pops up. Y'all know. For you two, for the, um two, my two people, y'all yeah, know it pops up. I think I meant, I think I showed, I think it was pulling for Clorand, if I'm correct. I showed they drip marketed, obviously Emily, and now we gonna be um I'm I'll, I'm I want I want to get her, so we'll see when we get to the um banners where um how that's gonna be um turning out. But yeah, but they made her a little chibi too, and we got um I know her name. Nilu, who almost said Nahida, and I like I, that's the Dendro Archon. We got Nilu, and then we got Ki Ki Ra Ra. So yeah, that's so cute. It's the girl, the girly chibis are here. It's, it's it's all the girls, the girls. Guys, my name is Danny Chambers, and I'm the voice of Nilu, a talented dancer from Sumeru. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirara, a courier from Inazuma. Oh my gosh, amazing! So uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay, y'all can probably guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Ooh, I yes. can't wait to see what the developers have been cooking up this time. Yes. I haven't even seen the final version. Ooh. Well, that's what the version 4.8 trailer is for. Let's take a look. Yes! <laughs> Let's see what the trailer is, y'all. Oh yeah. Also, let me—I forgot to mention. Um, I try to stay away from Twitter and seeing stuff, but I seen a little, little th things. I wanted to um tell y'all. I seen a little bit. It's so hard because all my Twitter stuff is full of just like a lot, obviously Genshin stuff and other things I be into and stuff. So I'm like, I seen, I, I seen some stuff, but I ain't seen like that much. But I try to save it for my first reactions and all in stream in free too. Port Oromos is currently organizing a flower exhibition. That strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions, and you lose the ability to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Okay, music. Oh, she's a pole arm. Okay, pole arm. I don't know why she was giving very much catalyst vibes to me, but okay, pull on. I ain't mad at it. Reconstitute. Ooh, okay. She she says she says she says she sets down a um a thing. This will brighten up the place. Ooh, that must okay. That that has to be her old. Okay. And of course, she's Dendro. I love me some Dendro. Oh, and I thought too, that's her Siggy. <laughs> the hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the Ooh. world. The, the chubby paper hamster just talked! <gasps> oh, that's so cute! Morning. Huh? Huh? 
it wasn't just a dream? But this, uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? I remember I was reading a book at the Grand... <gasps> oh, the skins, y'all, the skins. Nilu and um QRR is getting new skins. <gasps> y'all know I have to cop the skins. Well, obviously, I think Kiara, since she's a four star, she, we gonna get her for free, obviously. But Nilu's, we gotta um, we gotta get them um, what they're called? I keep forgetting. I, I buy them every time because I'm a whale in the game. Um, <laughs> they call damn it. Um, Genesis crystals. Yeah, Genesis. Yeah, Genesis crystals. Yeah. We gotta get those to get it. It looks so pretty. We gotta see it more up close, but oh, it looks so cute. And bizarre. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, then I woke up just like this. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh, okay. We're getting a close shot of the um skin. Oh, it's so pretty. Got a little um the flower. Oh uh, yeah, Neelu is getting her. Yeah, I know I'm getting her skin. There's no incidents about I'm getting I'm bagging her skin. I use I use my um Neelu. She's built, so she getting her skin. Damn it, she looks so cute. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. You're really easy to please, Navia. Chill, chill. Aerial Express moving out. Oh, also too, Navia's here. Yes, we're gonna be seeing not more Navi. Right, because I'm gonna start walking. Why what? Why are you gonna go? what I do? Why I do this time? Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. This is gorgeous. If you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. Oh, oh, hey Wanderer. Didn't expect you to be here. There they are. Or memoria memoria mem mem I forgot. <laughs> Memory, memorio, is what I called Wanderer because if y'all don't know, we got we got to choose for the people for the people who don't know Genshin that much, we get to choose this character right here, his name. But we all still call him Wanderer, but we can customize his name in the game. But yeah, yeah, we I ain't know you gonna be here, sir. <laughs> hey, to find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. Lorraine 99 is now following. Lorraine, thank you for the unfollow. Appreciate it. Stop making me want games I can't have. We've been playing. I've been playing games. What are you talking about? Uh, so this is the screen. Very, very cute. So yeah, we got um Kiar Kirara, we got Nilu, Navi, and the Wanderer. So this is the the people we're gonna be seeing in the quest. I wonder if we be seeing anybody else. But, and no Kali, because y'all usually know we get Klee around this time. I, we don't there's no Klee. She's not involved in this, which I'm like kinda sad because I love my Klee. But I guess she had her time to shine in the other in the other point eight. So like I guess it's time to mix it up. But yeah, but Nilu and Ki Kirara skins, so pretty. Kiara, she is so cute. Look at her and her skin. Oh, and then, of course, Nilu eating it up. So yeah, bagging both skins. Oh, let me get these codes. I didn't get the codes, yo. I usually do get them already, but I ain't get them this time. <laughs> but let me get them now. While y'all get them. So yeah, get the codes. Obviously, if you're watching this uh, later, I'm sorry they don't work anymore.
wait, what did I do wrong? <laughs> wait, I gotta pause it. I'm like, wait. Wait a minute. I did. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, resume. But I say. That purple and blue go so great together, wow, they do. This is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. So, this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, that, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers, Emily. Woo! Woo! Oh, Emily isn't just a great perfumer. She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. Oh, wait, that oh, reminds me. Okay. Doesn't one of Cloran's voice lines mention that Emily has a true profession, an identity hmm. that stayed a mystery up till now? We'll know once we've learned more about her. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. So, would you like to join? Fresh and floral! <gasps> oh my god. Very pretty. Oh She's so cool. Right? <laughs> I love her shoes. Yes. So and, cool. and did you see when she smelled the perfume? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that detail. Yeah. Yes. She's so elegant, like just the way she moves. Like it's just so right? beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know, right? So, let me tell you. Emily is the most renowned perfumer in Fontaine. Ooh. The new products that she releases usually sell out immediately. What? Well, <laughs> almost. So, if you want to get your hands on one of her perfumes, then be prepared to start lining up at four in the morning. Oh. Whoa. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Emily has another identity on top of her trade as a perfumer. She's a forensic cleaner. Huh. Mm -hmm. She's the one who cleans up crime scenes after an investigation has been concluded. Oh, wow. She's a very experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps of evidence that other people overlooked. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh. I didn't expect oh, okay. that from her. So <laughs> she's kind of like a forensic examiner. You know, Chevrus mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. Hmm. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and where they've been spending time. Okay, it, it all makes sense now. <laughs> it's because of her forensics work. That also explains how- mm -hmm. We thought something else she was a part of, but okay, it's just that. I don't know if it was the other thing. I don't know if they, they could have said anything about it. We had like- un uncover it within the story or her story quest of some sort but nah she's just a forensic um cleaner okay okay emily and chevris got so close uh-huh absolutely forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes hmm. emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects hmm. so most people only know her as a famous perfumer mm. oh emily's probably been through all sorts of stressful situations oh, right. from like high-end venues to gruesome crime scenes mm. Oof, it must take a lot of mental toughness to handle all that yeah. oh, exactly and her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Let's see combat. Emily's a dendro polearm user. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AOE dendro damage. Ooh, I bet that oh. skill releases a really nice fragrance. Oh, I was on the wrong monitor. I was like, I wanted to pause and talk. But wait, go back a little bit. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AOE dendro damage. A Lumidus case, it deals dendro damage. Okay, okay. You gonna eat? You didn't hear me? I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm getting, I'm definitely getting her. You already know. Ooh, I bet that skill releases a really nice fragrance. Mm. 
<laughs> I know. The Lumi Deuce case is a creation that Emily is really proud of. Oh. It fires puffs of pure dew at nearby opponents periodically, which deals dendro damage. Oh. oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumi Deuce case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. <laughs> I know, okay. right? After collecting two cents, the Lumiduce case will be upgraded from level one to level two. Oh, oh this is a, oh, okay, got levels to it. Okay. And with the burn, so, okay. So that set that came out, I think, was it 4.7? The last, well, the patch we're in right now, 4.7? That new, or it was 4.6, I forgot. The new artifact set. I'm like that. <laughs> they made this for specific. They made it for spe specifically for her. I think. But yeah, I think that's like gonna be working well with her. Good thing I've been collecting it. At level two, the Lumi Deuce case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. Oh, the damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumi Deuce case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level two, though? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. After Emily's passive talent, Lingering Fragrance has been unlocked. Hmm. The level two Lumiduce case will release Clear Dew Cologne that scales with every two scents collected. Oh. The cologne will deal AoE Dendro damage to nearby opponents. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, only enemies under the burning status will create scents. And the damage scales with the number of scents collected by the Lumi Deuce case? <laughs> exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh. After unlocking one of her specific talents, Emily will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition. Oh, and when a Lumi Deuce okay. case is on the field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, oh okay. okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So, once you use her Lumi Deuce case to apply Dendro to your enemies, you can use a pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh-huh, that's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumi okay. Deuce case has even more functionalities. Oh. After you've unleashed Emily's elemental burst, the Lumi Deuce case will rise to level three and collect the existing Lumi Deuce case on the field. Oh, that's cool. This fully upgraded Lumi Deuce case will cause Scented Dew to continuously descend onto nearby enemies, dealing dendro damage. Yeah. When the level three Lumiduce case leaves the field, a new Lumiduce case will be created. Mm. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level two Lumiduce case is about to leave the field. Okay, yeah, they gotta break that down. I'm like, it's a lie. I'm like, it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. It, look, it looks pretty. All I'm like, it looks so pretty. It's just so pretty. <laughs> but hopefully, it be doing good damage. With um with the burning, in the version, okay, I think that's a dendro and um, is it is it version Dem dendro and um pyro, they create their um version reaction if I'm correct, but yeah. Killed, then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its duration. Uh, that way the level two Lumidus case will be able to spend even more time on the field. <laughs> Bingo. It seems like you've really figured out her kit, but we should let travelers experiment with these mechanics for themselves. <laughs> they said y'all just gonna figure it out. <laughs> Which yeah, that's what I'm a good that's gonna do. I got a legit hands-on experience, and then I'm like, okay, I understand. Okay. But let me go back a little bit. First to reset its duration. Collected during her burst. Okay. So if a level two Lumidus case is about to lead the field. Then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its duration. Uh, that way, the level two Lumidus case will be able to spend even more time on the field. <laughs> yeah. Bingo. It seems like you've really figured out her kit, but we should let travelers experiment with these mechanics for themselves. Okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better now that we've learned about her skills. Mm. She transforms scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem to perfectly combine her talents as both a perfumer and forensic cleaner. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay, great. Emily <laughs> is an expert with all kinds of scents. No suspect can hope to remain in the shadows while Emily is on the case. 
<laughs> she always manages to discover the truth. Ooh, are we gonna get the chance oh, to see her yes. forensic cleaner side? In her story quest. <laughs> Cause I know they're transitioning to her story quest. <laughs> Please. Ooh. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emily's story quest, the Pumam de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared in Sumeru. <gasps> and Sumeru, uh, we're going to Sumeru, y'all. We better be seeing our Sumeru friends, some of them. However, as y'all know, we better be seeing our friends there travelers will work with Ooh. emily to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth once and for all Ooh, oh so exciting Ooh, i love mysteries <laughs> 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 you'll have to leave travelers to uncover the details for themselves oh. In yeah i wonder if we're gonna run into um tainari since he has a thing with flowers as well i'm like we'll be seeing him in the meantime, I have some other information to share. Oh, what is it? The upcoming event wishes, of course. Ooh, time for the wishes. <laughs> yes, let's go. In the first phase of version 4.8. Oh, damn. She's second phase. Okay, she's in the second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Which is good for me. Which is good for me. Because that gives me time to stack up my primo. So I'm like, okay, I'm happy she's in the second phase. Oof. But we have in the first phase we got Nilu and Nu Nu Nan Nilu Chow. The two ends. Nu Navi Nuvia Nuvia. Navia and Nilu. Which uh Navia getting her first rerun. And I forgot how how I forgot what um how I forgot which rerun is Nilu is because she been she had some reruns in the past. I'm like I don't know which one which number this is, but she can her rerun. Eight travelers can look forward to returning event wishes from Navia and Nilu. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. <laughs> and in the second phase, I got both of them. We're good. Is a version four point eight. Well and, and there she is in the second phase. <laughs> I see what they did. I see what they did. They want people to playing uh playing in this um uh, keep not keep um they want players to uh come back more especially throughout this last version so they like let me let's push the new character to the second phase keep them waiting <laughs> I'm like good job y'all did that guess but at the same time thank you because it saves me I can save up my primos yes. Yeah, Emily and Ye Long. Ye Long is interesting. I'm like, hey girl, I'm surprised. I'm like, Ye Long. Last time we seen Ye Long was in five four point oh, I think. Oh, I forget. Is she was she, was she in any other the versions of four point X? I, as I said, four point oh. I remember her because I got her in four point oh when Fontaine came out almost a year ago. So I'm like, yeah. I got. I was getting her in Lenny, and it was a struggle. If y'all want to see that video, it will be up there, and um, I'll put it up there. Yeah, getting her, getting two five stars. <laughs> Ooh, something pulling for her and Lenny at the same time. Man, so I'm like, interesting. She's coming at the last bit. I'm like, I'm shocked. No, they ain't put anybody else here. Like Risley or some sort, like he gonna get his rerun, but they probably gonna be saving him for five point X series. So I'm like, we'll we'll see. We'll have event wishes for Emily and Yelon. A new five star polearm, Lumidus Elegy, will also Ooh. be featured on the web. Her weapon is so pretty, but I won't be getting her weapon. I, I'm not. <laughs> it's a it's a gorgeous weapon, gorgeous, but. Uh, me think i'm like do i need it i don't <laughs> as in, my luck on the weapon banner lately has been just it scares me every time because y'all know that weapon banner is a whole scam and it's scary it's so scary <laughs> so i'm like i been lucky so far pulling on that banner whenever i do but <laughs> i don't want to push it too much 
I don't feel enticed, <laughs> even though I do want Emily. Obviously, getting Emily, yes, but uh, I don't. I don't feel enticed to get her weapon, like I did with the characters that I do have the weapons for. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. It's so pretty, though. Mm. Weapon banner. All right. Okay. That was a <laughs> lot of information just now. So let's take a break for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. It's also the right time to show the second redemption code anyway. Yay! Okay, <laughs> we will see you soon, travelers. Yes. Toodles. Nice. <laughs> Let me put this code in. Oh, look at Emily Art. Yes. Turn down a little bit. But yeah, she's coming in the second phase, and she's running with Ye Long, which, as I said, I'm like, interesting. Hmm. Got the code. Oh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And if we're headed to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Yes, exactly. Oh, we're talking about the outfits so now. And Milu and Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Yes. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so ready. Let me so see him. Let me see him. Oh, okay, let's start off with Nilu. I took a good look earlier, and I have to say, it's totally awesome. <laughs> <gasps> I have to share it with y'all in more detail. Okay, look, uh, take a look, take a look, take a look. Yeah, let me see. Pick <laughs> up. It's so pretty, y'all. It's so pretty. Let me see the back again. I want to see the back. Look, take a look, take a look. Look at the back. Oh, it's a pretty. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Not me pointing so y'all can see. There's a butterfly in her back. Oh, it ties up. The colors are amazing. It's like a different shade of blue. It's more um deeper blue, like the ocean. Like it's I love it. And mixed with the shade of purple as well. Yes. Come with me on a fairy tale journey. Oh, and she's oh she's barefooted. Oh, she's barefooted in this outfit. But she got um bows on her um her on her ankle yeah wrinkle i present to you a gift from the forest very pretty oh, that's how her burst animation gonna be looking at with her new outfit eating up amazing oh my gosh <gasps> it's all bleh, 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 bleh. words that's that wasn't even words Look at the art right here. Oh, this is so pretty. Even the art they made right here. My heart. My chest. Ah. Oh, they based it. Wait, did they base it off the I don't know that off of the flower she's holding? I wonder. I think yeah, I think they did. Well, she's or is it that flower? But it's the same color of the flower she's holding right here. Oh wow. And it goes up against her hair really nice. Her red hair. Let's see. Let's see. You've seen so many butterfly dresses today, Glitch? Oh. She looks oh so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. She's so like, look at all the flowers and, like, the, the skirt being petal. They are all me, just eating this up. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. She got a lot of pearls. I'm just seeing. I'm just now seeing. I've seen them all in her hair, but now I'm seeing the. I'm like, now I see, I, I see the pearls now in the outfit as well. Yes. Gosh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. 
pretty. She's so pretty. Uh, it, it really, really suits Milu too, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's oh, it just shows off her beauty even more, and I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> there's there's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Uh, does everyone remember the title of the new version? Yeah, Summer Tide Scales and Tails. Like fairy tales, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. This summer, travelers will get to visit a fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Milu will get a new outfit. And oh wait, also to her hair. Me just now realized her hair too. They changed it up. Too. It's more like really. I'm like, hmm. I just not seen that. Oh yeah. And a new identity. That is so exciting. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh and the little um the thigh um. Julie right there too. Wait, let me back it up a little smidge. So her thigh. This world, Milu would get a new outfit and a new identity. That is that is real. Wow, so pretty. That is so exciting. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Yes. It's gonna be so good. Y'all already know the outfit is getting is getting got is getting is getting claimed. There's I'm there's no insights, but it's, it's it's I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm guessing Simulanka is the new summer region? Yep. And this fairy tale world is facing all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this world. Been talking twice a week. I like the speed. It just makes me want to say. Lara Pool 11 is now following. Laura, um, thank you for the unfollow. Um, Appreciate it. Oh, not the giant footprint. Back that up. Crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this world. <gasps> oh, oh my oh gosh. Wow. Whoa, whoa. That footprint is huge. Yeah, a bee footprint. Wait a second. Right? <laughs> you have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and if you follow the footprints into the depths of the region, then you might be able to find some clues. Origami animals live in this forest, so you might be able to get some valuable information from them. Ooh. Ooh. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. huh. I noticed some of the animals look off color. Yes, they do. Very perceptive of you. Some of the origami animals are in big trouble. The color <gasps> of their paper is fading. Oh. I know. And it's so oh, oh, they're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Oh. This is so cute. It's gonna be a lot of me cute um just saying all cute when this come out. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I will do anything to help these origami creatures. Literally. I love them. I'm already I'm already attached. Like I'm already attached to them. <laughs> They're so cute. I know. 100%. I wanna take anything. one home with me. Literally. Yes. But okay. <laughs> Travelers won't have to face these crises alone. They'll receive help from okay. all sorts of companions during their journey in Simulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. Look at the queen in her new outfit. Oh, yes. And Navia! And Navi! Uh, oh, uh. and there's Hat Guy. <laughs> no, not Hat Guy. I'm just joking. Hey, Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> if travelers are interested in seeing how the events in Simulac unfold, then be sure to check. But yeah, this is a pretty pr um gorgeous summer map. Like, this is really gorgeous. I know they did, obviously um the last one was in sumeru it was in a same like in a um, bottle which was gorgeous as well but this is like and then of course previously they did what was the other one um it was when sumeru was coming out which was 3.8 wait no 3. Point, no 2.8 yeah 2.8 2. not 3.8 3. 3.8 was the um the summer when it was in the bottle 2.8 when we went into the um the golden opera i think it was the golden archipelago if i'm correct so it was called that and we went to um all the different islands based off of the um characters the specific characters at the time that was gorgeous as well i think it was officials if um if i'm um, thinking about the island it was officials island which was really like um cool yeah but this one is gorgeous it's wow like each patch it's just like it's like they they stepping um they stepping up their game even though it won't, obviously this won't stay in the game. Sally is gonna be going away after 4.8 ends, but it's like it's so amazing. Check out the summer region during the new update. 
Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Thank you for <laughs> noticing. Well, <laughs> that's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. Not the music. Nothing new for me. <laughs> Oh, I, her, Kiara's outfit is cute, too. Not else to say either about her. It's adorable. Really didn't expect her getting an outfit, but I love her regardless. Things with her cute two tails and her bow on the back. Yes. And luckily, we don't have to spin for this one. This one's going to be free in a specific event that's having to do with the um, new area. So we going it's it's free. So we're going to we easily bag it. Everyone easy bag it. Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery? Girl, no, you, you no, you'll fit. <laughs> um, she'd probably fit in Fontaine with this outfit very well. But no, it's this really cute outfit. I need to sit up close some more. Whoa! Ooh, the, not with the uh, see they doing these little um little shots. The characters. This is really cool. <laughs> she got a little, a little mask right there. Oh my God. These are like thigh highs, even though she got her like pot, her um, her toe beans out right there. These are giving legit thigh highs a little bit, and I love it. Gosh, a little bell right there. So cute, it is. so cute. Eating it up. The girlies are eating it up with their outfits. I know. Oh, she's so cool. It looks like she's ready for an adventure. Hot, 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 hot. The hat is amazing. Love the ears they add to it. Yes, oh, it's hat. adorable. Yes. Yeah, the color, style, and the accessories all complement Kirara perfectly. Yeah, that 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 specific blue with that 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 specific green is just like it goes so well. It flows well with the outfit. Like, yeah. She's really giving me like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you yes. better watch out. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I didn't even see that until now. The, oh, I, I me mean just now seeing it on on this picture as well of her. Animated like little um photo of her. It it has a mask that is so the de y'all the details. Oh my goodness, and the, the two bows. Oh. In her vision right there and then the bell too like it's so much detail in these outfits and i love it well best of all <laughs> travelers will be able to obtain this outfit for free Whoa. we love for free we love for free for free trips of bliss will be scattered throughout simulanka Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and open fairy tale troves to obtain excerpts of bliss. Ooh. After you've collected enough of these excerpts, travelers can obtain Kirara's new outfit for free. Plus, Ooh. they can also get primo gems and other rewards. Yes! Oh, awesome! I know what I'm doing at the minute 4.8 goes live. <laughs> Literally. Oh! No, the f no, they did not. No, they did not. When she turns into the cat box, which I think is her, um, e wait, is it her? No, it's her E, if I'm correct. Her E, and she turns into a little cat box. She has, if you have on the outfit on her, she will have this little mask on when she's in this form. That is so cute. And I think, yeah, they changed the, they changed this whole outfit up as well. Damn. Amazing. Just, I can't. I had to build my key RR. Damn, she ain't built mine. So I'm like, I gotta build her. <laughs> Collecting excerpts of bliss so I can get my hands on that outfit. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Get my yeah. little, little legs. Yes. All the mat. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, definitely <laughs> count me in. I love it. I'm, I'm in love with both of their outfits. I, I need them now. I need them now. There's so much to do in the new version. You think so? so let me see. There's even more content in the big summer update. No. Yes, there's more. <laughs> Simulanka has a bunch of fabulous events that everyone can enjoy. Oh, really? Ooh, okay. Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Travelers mm -hmm. can look forward to four different kinds. Oh, also, too, you get a free um, key, key rar art as well. You get her. Oh, I like you get her outfit and you get her if you don't have her already. That's neat. 
I gotta see. I gotta see if my Kiara is C six because if she is C six, I'm gonna get a free um a free wish. <laughs> but if not, I get another constellation of her. Of gameplay in Simulanka, and they all follow a unique theme. Ooh. The first is called Boreal Flurry. Hmm. Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy targets to score points and earn rewards. Destroying special targets will even produce unique effects. I really, really, really love to say more, but. We'll let travelers experiment with them in the game. <laughs> this Ooh, looks oh sick. My gosh. This is so cool. It's like we get to shoot at things midair. That's yeah. awesome. <clears throat> He's so cool. Oh. Okay, next up, we have Flying Hatter's Trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, hey, it looks like a claw machine, just like the ones in the arcades. Yes. Oh. Ex but these are less, these are more forgiving than the ones, the um, actual claw machines. Those be trifling. Exactly. I am still terrible at those, though. Oh, you're going to be good at this, though. I, can I hope that. so. I hope so. Thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. The third gameplay is called Metropole Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Mm. Defeating opponents will accumulate valor. Filling your valor energy bar will trigger a time for valor, which grants buffs to your team. Oh, nice. nice. Defeating opponents while a time for valor is active will earn you even more points. Oh, and travelers who take part in these three events will earn star sale coins. In figurine fabrication, travelers can insert these coins into fantastical fabricators to earn- Oh, that is so cute how they just come out like that. Earn keepsake figurines. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes it even easier for travelers to remember their journey. Aww, what a cute origami oh, hamster. So and cute. He's just a little guy. Not the gotcha in the gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a little guy. <laughs> They're cute though. <clears throat> Putting your, um, um, after travelers teapot. have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including Prima Gems and Serenity Pot furnishings. Mm -hmm. Oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, both Ooh. inside their Serenity Pot and around Simulanka. Oh, that's so neat. But don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends. <gasps> yes! Oh, that's neat. <laughs> Yes. So cool. Ah, it sounds like the summer region gives us a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot to do. Lot to lot to do to hold us over until 5.0. Hmm. I wonder what else version 4.8 has in store. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. You've got perfect timing. All right, let's take mm -hmm. a look at the rest of the events in version 4.8. All right. Yes. Oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of the theater lobby, but now vibrant colors have emerged on its surface. <gasps> this new permanent gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. Nice. Five envisaged echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. Each challenge will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys of echoes upon entering the challenge, and each challenge requires two keys to unlock. If you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's Echo Cosmetic Reward. Oh. <laughs> yes. And once you've equipped an Echo onto its designated character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're sprinting. Oh, wow. That's neat. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Deluxe Echo looks like flaming feathers. That's so cool. <gasps> yes. And Chi Chi's Echo seems to give her ghost companions. Ooh. Honestly, I feel like that's something that Huta would be super interested in. Oh, no, run, yeah. Right? Yeah. That is so cute. Uh, uh, hold on. I have a question. If we only start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Mm. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can receive one key from each season of the Imaginarium Theater where they complete and finalize a combat performance in Act 6 or higher. Oh, okay, so you can't unlock those Echo rewards in one go. Aw, oh, Drag. Yes. <laughs> damn, they said you gotta work for this <laughs> every season. I'm like, damn, okay. Uh, mm -mm, can't get them in one foul swoop. Exactly, I know. So take your time, everyone. There's no need to rush. It's not going anywhere. 
Oh, by the way, you can only complete the challenge using its designated character. You're also going to have to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The participating character must be level 90 and their friendship level must be 8 or higher. It's time to test how well you truly know your characters. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Envisaged Echoes Challenge doesn't just test how well you can use a character, but also how well you understand their skills. Each challenge has specific obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the character's skill mechanics. Huh? Oh, that's neat. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> hmm. So I wonder what they be since this is a permanent game mode. I wonder what they be switching out care. Well, not switching out, like adding on to like adding more characters onto that roster. Are you getting more of their um trails? Cause that's really neat and really cool little um effects. Have I'm surprised they didn't show it off in the um in open world. They showed it off in obviously in the um the, the dress up giving them the um and the outfits in the character selection thing but they ain't show them in the um, open world though uh, so... <laughs> or, yeah yeah you can also look forward to a ton of events happening in fontaine yeah. <laughs> travelers will get to meet an enthusiastic scholar in romaritime harbor which allows travelers to play bing bang finchball thanks Basima. Fossima and Finchball seems to remind <clears throat> me of something. Oh, wait, wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. The Bossima we met last year was a Hydra Eidolon replica of a human who once visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version of Finchball. <laughs> the Bossima <clears throat> in Fontaine is her descendant. Mm. Wow. That is such a neat connection. Wow. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of Finchball. Exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still need to launch Finchball. Oh yeah, we played this last year. Balls into target zones in order to score points. But these new stages will have rival Finchballs. Oh. Rival Finchballs will make it harder to score points, so travelers will need to strategize based on the situation in front of them. Ooh, oh. I like the new changes. Mm. I'm excited to try the new Finchball. And that's not the only new addition. This version also has a co-op mode. What? So Let's you go. can be each other's rival. Oh, Finchball. Wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co-op mode. Each level has different terrain characteristics and types of Finchballs. Players will take turns launching Finchballs, and the person with the most points after four rounds will win the match. That sounds really fun, no matter who wins or loses. Totally. I mean, look at these little guys. Look at the little finches. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so, so cute. adorable. Hi. Oh, and speaking of cuteness, does everyone still remember Asagiri's photo taking commission? Yes, we have. Uh, 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 it's been a minute, but yeah, I remember it. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> the, the girl is the girl is like, I just don't recollect. I don't know. I don't. I don't. But the people who played it for a minute, yeah, we know. <laughs> Asagiri has made her way to Fontaine, but this time her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can easily satisfy the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. An interval timer mode has also been added. Hmm making it easier for travelers to capture their characters in the perfect moment. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see what all the master photographers are gonna come up with. Oh yeah. We'll also have the opportunity to meet up with Hosseini in Fontaine and he's brought an upgraded energy amplifier with him. Wait, wasn't Hosseini studying energy amplifiers in order to graduate? Oh. Does, does uh, this mean that he still hasn't graduated? Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. I, um, <clears throat> scientific research is filled with obstacles. <laughs> this time, mm. Hosseini has integrated the energy amplifier with Fontanian technology to create the Hosseini amplifier. And he'll need our help to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him finally graduate, I am definitely in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. If he doesn't in the uh, Fontaine, oh, the Fontaine, if the, um, not Len Arc, I don't know. What to tell you. If we see him again, if we see them again next around this time, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. Mm. 
<laughs> no, totally. So, in each stage, travelers will need to form three parties to participate in three consecutive rounds of combat tests. Mm. Oh, okay. Each party member will provide a fixed amount of motive force based on their character level. Mm. Motive force can be used to set up ley line effectors, which grant buffs in combat. Oh, so the same character can be assigned in multiple parties. But repeating characters won't provide motive force in subsequent combat trials. So you better keep that in mind while you're forming your teams. Oh. Okay, I get it. So we need to make sure that each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way we can obtain a higher score. <laughs> exactly. Once you've configured all the buff slots for a single party, you can also choose a buff to apply across all your parties. All right. Travelers hmm. will have to experiment to determine the best setup for them. Awesome. Okay, is anyone else here excited about card games? Uh, I know. Uh, genius invocation TFFCC. <laughs> yeah, I haven't touched this in a hot minute. <laughs> but we get a Navi card and a um, Shepherds. And I forgot. Papa Kino's people <laughs> um, card. You know, I, uh, yeah. I know that I'm excited about card games. <laughs> so, in version 4.8, a couple of old friends are being added to Genius Invocation TCG. New monster cards and action cards will also be available. Sweet. Also, yeah. the Overflowing Mastery event is returning in yes. version 4.8, so don't miss out. Let's go. All right, mm -hmm. that's all the event-related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah. Okay, what they optimizing? Sarah's on a roll today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, the encounter points system has been improved. In version 4.8, excess encounter points earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh. Travelers oh, won't excellent. have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Ooh. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet! Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, also! The cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Final, finally, y'all. Finally. Finally. We don't have to wait some minutes, only 10 seconds, and we can go back and beat the bosses behind. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. That should make it a lot easier to farm materials. Yes. That works perfectly with the changes to the encounter point oh, system. Very... You'll be able to convert oh, encounter door. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click high UI mm -hmm. feature, which will hopefully oh. provide a more immersive experience. Oh, it hides to you. Oh, that is so neat. Yes. So you can be really immersed into the game. But knowing me, I need that map because I be getting lost. <laughs> I'm like, and I need to see where things at. But I'll have it I'll have it off from time to time to get even more immersed into it. In addition, we'll be getting I was about to ask. What you about to ask? That what? Getting a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue, text, and audio in their current conversation. So don't worry about missing out on any details. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, this is neat. Because I'll be like, what they said? And I'm like, damn, I can't go back. <laughs> oh, that is perfect for travelers who like to take screenshots mm. and travelers who like to analyze the dialogue. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. you can look forward to a bunch of other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. Some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Travelers can choose to lower their world level. Oh yeah, good thing they're adjusting some um the cha um domains in the uh, Mondstadt and Liyue because some of them be legit. I don't want to go do them because they are ridiculous for, for no reason. They were on some demon time. <laughs> back in the beginning of the game making them domains really just 
just don't want to go do them again. <laughs> so good thing they're reducing the um challenge to go on of doing those domains in leeway, monster in leeway. Uh, the e point of the cooldown. Oh. Level once they've reached world level three, the difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered. Just to name a few. Oh. Yes, that will be so helpful for new players. It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. But be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Hmm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still <gasps> have some more information to share. But <gasps> first, let's display the final redemption code. Dun da da da. Oh. We wait with bated breath. Here we go. <laughs> The last code, y'all. What quest you hated, Glitch? Got it. The flying. What's wrong with the flying quest? <laughs> I was eating it up back then <laughs> when I, when everything was new to me. I had a terrible time. Oh no. But yeah, I hope it, I hope everyone got their codes. And again, for the um, people who watching this in the future, uh, obviously they don't work anymore. But hopefully you got them for the people who's watching in the future already. Welcome back, travelers. Hello. 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 Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, let's get straight to the information that I promised. So cozy, I want to be there. I know, right? That's okay. it. Listen carefully, everyone. I have an important mm -hmm. announcement. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual event that celebrates all of Hoyo versus games. Oh, so not just Genshin Impact. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyo Fest will host a series of online and offline events. By participating in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest themed merch, event exclusive gifts, and both in game and out of game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. Oh, More yeah. detailed information will be posted across Genshin Impact's official accounts, so stay tuned. <laughs> so exciting. We also have an exciting collaboration to announce Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the mm -hmm. world, Sea Aquarium. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Uh, let me think. It, it's got to be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? Literally. Mm. Yes, you guessed it! Nailed it! This event will be based on Fontaine. Sijuin, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, Sijuin. will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact's and Sea Aquarium's official accounts for more information. Oh, I'm so ready. That's mm -hmm. neat. Fish time. Awesome. Now for some out of game genius invocation TCG news. <laughs> TCG. <Ooh. laughs> the knockout stages of Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific regions will be held soon. The Atlantic stage will take place on July 27th, and the Pacific stage will be held on August 2nd. So look forward to a fierce showdown between top players from those two regions. <laughs> Amazing! There's also a little surprise in store for you all. Uh -huh. Before the knockout stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back <gasps> in their in-game mailbox. Yeah, yes. <laughs> let's go. So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. And that's not all. Genjin Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will become available in version 4.8. It will feature original Genshin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! It includes tracks from version 4.8 events, cutscene music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Oh, I'm so excited for music it! Music slaps! Music. Zoom. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all the 
the information that we have to share. Then that means... Yeah. It's time to it's wrap almost it up. that time again. Mm. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I know. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Neela and Kirara. Oh, uh, they yes. are so adorable. And I can't wait to see like their yeah. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so excited for this. Cannot I can't wait. wait. I, too, as an unbiased individual, am excited about that. <laughs> unbiased, very much biased. But, um, <laughs> 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 but, oh, I'm so, so excited, too, for the echoes. Like, totally. oh, I'm so down for all of this customization. And the music, oh, it's so, <laughs> listen, I'm just very excited. Well, I just wanted to say, I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yay! I really mm -hmm. hope you like her. I know, totally. And I am super duper excited for Hoyo Fest and also for the Sea Aquarium collaboration. Yes. That is so exciting and cool. I can't wait to see what happens with that. So right. epic. Yes. All right. Well, this is the end of the special program. Thank you all so much for being here. And yeah, I guess we'll see y'all in game. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> But obviously, y'all, we're not done yet. We still got a um, little sneak peek of Natland to look at. So it continues. I forgot to mention it, but I was saving it for the end. <laughs> we still got, we got Natland to look at. Ooh. <gasps> Who's that cutie? Wait, who was that? Wait a minute. She is so cute. Is she, oh, the braid. She's so cute. Oh, she got a little tail. That machine she hopped into. Oh, I can scale walls. Oh, get a little taste of not land. A little taste, a little lot, a little bit. But, oh, okay. She's so pretty. So cute. <laughs> Why she reminded me of um Diddy Kong racing or Mario Ra like I think more of Diddy Kong a little bit. <laughs> it's so cute. She's her little machine. They got a little sticker. Oh, she's such a cutie. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see a melanated enemy. A melanated man. Wait, oh, I just seen in the back, there's a dinosaur. Is that a dinosaur? Y'all see that long neck? <gasps> a, is that a dinosaur? <laughs> but no, look at the, this is a, this enemy is so, this enemy we got a cute, this, this enemy, oh wow. Oh wait, let me look fine, okay, come on enemy. But yeah, I love the fit, love the fit of the enemy. He would look sick. I love the drip. Tattoos. Um, weapon. Okay. Like a kid in the candy store. Yeah, very much. But no, this enemy looks really cool. Uh, the fit is fitting. I cannot. And also the music too of Natland's really cool. The little bit of beginning of it. Can't wait to hear the like rest. <gasps> Who is she? Oh, this I love the area, the ambiance of this area of Natland. <laughs> Not them running in the back. <laughs> but she's so cute. What was her abilities? Y'all know love love the blue. On her. And there's a boat right here. I think that's a boat. Oh. Now, who is he? Who is he? Who is him? He giving very much Zhao. Who else? There's another um character I'm thinking about, but I can't put my name uh finger on it. He's very much of a, a Zhao character. It's just very much his energy. Just just chilling up there. Oh, 
Oh, I love that her um her jacket's tied. It got a little. It's really cute. Oh, she's so adorable. Well, her boots and her gloves. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, that is so neat. Look at her surfing on the shark. And also, they're glowing. Wait. Yeah, they're glowing. She's like glowing like yellow, the outline. I wonder what that's, what's that about? I like it's specifically for not like characters. Oh, she's so, I can't get over it. She's so cute. <laughs> yeah, she's, see, I see this outline. Interesting. I wonder, wonder what's that about. <laughs> she she she's also too cute love the outfit everything not her eye her um pupils being fish they're like fish pupils if you can like really see it <laughs> that's funny okay buddy boy here got the outline as well but it's a different color also Oh, he looks sick as well, too. Okay, I'm loving the fits of these characters in that land. Their fits really, really look cool. And very like, and I see a little theme of a little um square shape, like um cube-like theme with them a little bit. And also, too, he has like a jacket tied around his waist as well, because I seen the little, I think that's like part of the jacket, his jacket he's got around. Yeah, it is. Okay, we getting to see some characters from that land. We get t three of them. Oh, they look really cool. Look at them. Oh, and there's her vision. I'm like wondering, because we never seen how Natland's visions look at all. We ain't seen nothing. And that's how it looks right there. Like, where's his vision? <laughs> Can you see his vision? Can you see your vision? See, man, I don't see it on your view directly. Anymore. I really like his outfit. I'm like, can I get it? Oh, I can't see his vision. I don't see. It's not visible. Mm -mm. I don't know where hers at either. I can, we only can see hers right there. I'm just going to leak it over. Right, the uh, writing thing. Uh, some type or oh you might be right glitch a riding thing of some type probably it's right there it's right on his pants on his where on his pants where where i'm looking in front of him where on his pants is it here somewhere wait why does he have a minecraft right there a little bit <laughs> give me like the minecraft sword that <gasps> good eyeball glitch good eyeball i would not even have seen this it's right here y'all it's right here my mouse you clocked at that and he's geo okay not he's not geo he's um dendro oh okay we spotted his good eye glitch so yeah okay but yeah we can't see hers though but my guess, she is, um, high, hydro. <laughs> Assumption, assuming. Mm -hmm. Not because he's fine. Not because he's fine. I can already. You. But yeah, I like how they're, like, they're, um, they're tied their jackets around them. Really neat feature. But as y'all can see, like, the, um, his art style is, like, very, like, as it, um, box a box like the cubes and the square um square shapes like i can we've seen that you can see the hurt and hurt also as well like a little bit and more like triangles a little bit like more shapes expressions okay hmm. not back off child. you don't even know how he's gonna be yet you already jumping uh 
go back go back to the first girl let me see oh she got like a little um little cute guy right there i don't see it not me tonight pan i can't see i, I can't see her vision nowhere on her on her person But yeah, it's a lot of shapes. Yeah, okay, yeah. She got more triangles and he got more squares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hers is not easy to spot. I can't see. It might be on, directly on her back right, right here. Well, let me see. Wait, let me roll back. Because we've seen a big, um, be her right here. Let me see. It's not on her. Yeah, it must be on her back, upper back, probably. My guessing. Oh, I love the designs in his hair as well of the um the shapes. I just now noticed that. I'm right. Okay, I clocked it. I clocked it. Yeah, it's on. It's on her upper back. It's like right here. Yeah, where my mouse at? Yeah, that's her vision. It's yeah. So yeah, she's hydro, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, but I can't wait to see. Oh, I look. Oh, look at her um shoes, y'all. They're really cute as well. Lo yeah, loving their designs so far. Loving all three of these characters' designs. And his weapon, I wonder, is it a, it does look like Claymore of a Claymore. Looking at it like right there. Let me pull it out again. Yeah, it's definitely like a Clay, yeah, he's definitely Claymore. That's a big sword. But yeah, they okay, and we get to see more of not land. We get to see more of the graffiti. Now, I don't know if it's graffiti or like just art on like the big mountains. It really look really cool. Oh, y'all heard? Wait, ooh, okay. We know. Okay, the music gonna definitely be hitting. Y'all heard the um music? Hit it like singing in the background. Okay, yeah, they're gonna be fucking it up with the music. I already know. 5.0, next, um, obviously gonna be the next special program. They gonna be the music gonna be insane. I already know. <laughs> For that land. But yeah, so these are our three characters we uh, gonna get in we uh, gonna be inter um obviously seen in 5.0 or or a little bit. And I'm wondering they're gonna probably show some more characters too, but we get to see these three. And hopefully we can we can hope so much. Hopefully they have more of uh, like a uh, um um melanated character hopefully because y'all see how the enemy looking like they can do that like hopefully hopefully we like, just I'm, I'm a melanated character because <laughs> they got the power to do it for these enemies do it for a playable character come on now <laughs> but yeah, I, I already can hear that music gonna be hitting so hard. Uh, but yeah, y'all, that is it for the uh, the Genshin special um program, well version um eight point special program. It was insane. We. <laughs> the event is looking amazing. Going into this um story, is did it say story? Um, uh, it's gonna be a lot of stories and fairy tales. It's gonna be neat. Nilu and um Ki Arar are gonna be like, playing characters with their cute outfits. Cannot wait! I'm gonna be back in their outfits. Emily also looking amazing. Can't wait! I'll be getting her in the second phase. 
And also, too, we get to see, um, what's his name? Wanderer and Navi. So, cannot wait. Get to see our people from Sumeru, Inazuma, and Fontaine. So, yeah. And also, too, I wonder, are we going to be seeing any more characters as well? But we're going to wait and see. Oh, um, Emily's, uh, Emily's... Story quest, I cannot wait to get into that and see what that's gonna be all about. Helping her with like a um case, I think. We're gonna be helping her with like a case or solving something. Can't wait. No more of her and all. Since we're gonna be going back to Sumeru and like doing something, so I'm like, we're gonna be seeing any Sumeru friends. So I'm like, yeah, I cannot. And also all the other events that are gonna be happening as well, aside from the main event, which is the, um the summer event. So cannot wait. Not Fontaine, not Lamb. We got to see a bit of that, not Lamb, not Lamb, not Fontaine. And got to see three characters. We got a child character and two... Medium, medium height characters. Um, A girl and a boy. And they, as I said, they look really cute. Their um art style, how they look, amazing. Can't wait to get to know them more and see what they're what they're about, their um vibes and all. And also, we got to see not um not Land's vision because we as we we ain't seen not Land's vision yet, so we don't know how it looks. And now we see, and also you can see like right here, somebody did a video. You can see like more right there. Also, this is our first time seeing what a not Land vision looks like because I'm surprised they haven't showed it off. Like, no, we don't have any other characters. Who, throughout um the other patches that came from Notland and showed that off so i'm like interesting so i might learn about how you know other people from Notland so far i wonder so that's neat <laughs> and by the looks of it we got um the um uh, the um child character is a geo she's geo the male character he's dendro and then the, um the girly is uh hydro so i'm like okay so very exciting, and also the music also sound like it's gonna be um bumping. So five point oh, we gonna be hearing some new music for the new region. So I cannot wait to um hear all that, hear how that could be sounding. Cause if there was anything like Sumeru's and um Fontaine's, it gonna be just immaculate. And we gonna also to hopefully see behind the scenes of the um orchestra, orchestra. I think yeah. Or, or the orchestra of the um Hoiver's mix and seeing how they um how they made the music too because they usually show that off so i'm like cannot wait to see all that so yeah so obviously you know as i said next um special program gonna be 5.0 so it's gonna be crazy gonna be big hopefully and that means since the devs since it's um, a new version that means the devs are gonna be talking all the devs and all that so it's gonna be a lot of um me stopping the video and reading subtitles so that gonna be something like it'll be probably a decently long um live stream i bet so cannot wait i said hopefully hope y'all um enjoyed my reaction my yeah my reaction to um all the things that gonna be coming for the new new version 4.8 and also to the teaser for fontaine so yeah that's all the stuff i talked about and things that um i said i will be popping it up on the um thing up there that be Showing y'all the uh, I, forget, I keep forgetting what it's called the um, annotation up there. I'll have some stuff up there for y'all. Check out any um other videos you want to um see from me and all. And also too, but uh, all my stuff, socials and everything. If you want um see see um see me doing these things live because as I said video obviously <laughs> you want to see all this stuff live. I stream. On um the tube as well and well and well tw the on the twitchy and on the tube. So if you wanna uh see the uh recording of it live, me recording these videos, go in the description. You'll see all my um stuff is below in the description for y'all. So yeah, until the next one. Bye y'all. <laughs>